much for uh, the lovely introduction. I really wish that we lived in an era where I could have live heard all the applauses and I could have actually interacted with you guys. Uh, but it is so heartening to see all of you, uh, even in the limited uh, ways that we are. I'm glad that we are doing this and uh, hats off to uh, all uh, the people involved in doing it. Uh, I believe Dr. Ankita, who's uh, still recovering from her illness. So kudos to all of you for your enthusiasm in making an event like this happen you know, online because it, it takes a lot out of you. And I am just so glad that I'm able to make this uh, talk because um, as the COVID-19 pandemic has been hitting hard um, on our country, we have curtailed flights. And because of that, uh, my flight patterns were also amended. And I've just landed back from San Francisco about an hour and a half back. And uh, I was just trying to rush back home and even contemplating to stop en route uh, so as to connect with all of you and the future dreamers out there uh, of mine that I always look forward to connecting. So I'm really, really glad that um, I could rush my way back home. You know, when I spoke to Dr. Ankita, she's like, the last speaker is speaking, ma'am, where are you? <laughs> I'm like, I'm, ru I'm rushing back home to join. So I'm so glad I could make it. And thank you for the lovely introduction. And uh, Without uh, further ado, uh, let's get started. I am uh, really looking forward uh, to the TEDx talk today. So greetings and warm wishes to all of our viewers, every single person that is watching out there. Today, I come to you not as Captain Zoya, although I'm still in the uniform because I just landed. Uh, I do not want to come to you as Captain Zoya, but as one of the girl next door, who is as much human as any one of you in every possible way, who has been on a journey on this beautiful Mother Earth, a roller coaster ride of all sorts that has been programmed by the biggest power up above, who hustles, struggles through every day, just like each and every one of you. Today, I present to you Zoya, the explorer. I have always been into exploration for as long as I can remember. Somewhat like the curious case of uh, Benjamin Button. Always unrelenting to uncover, reflect, grow, evolve the urge. It is this urge that permits us to manifest, to remain steadfast, to unfetter, to encourage, to strive, to progress, to be the change that we want to see in this future of the world. And most importantly, to believe, to believe in yourself. I have an inquiry to pose to each and every individual listening to me today. What is that you truly wish to accomplish in your life? And what is it that is keeping you down from reaching that beautiful dream of yours? Now hold that idea as I take you through my story, the tale of a little young girl, entirety of eight years old, who imagined and wanted to reach out for the impossible. Now, while talking about impossible, have you ever pondered this word can also be articulated as I am possible? Fascinating, right? So how about we start this journey, or rather flight? I was consistently a stargazer, my eyes totally wide open while the remainder of the world was still sleeping. I would spot large planes flying miles away from me. However, I still felt very, very near and connected to them, somewhat. I gazed upward and pondered, will I at any point fly one of these? And between these considerations of bewilderment and conviction, hours passed, but my eyes stayed glued to the immensely huge night sky, which was a portrayal of my dreams. Two words latched on to my mind, which were, I will. Exactly how a plane is up against different deterrents as it takes off. Likewise, the long path and the road to reach my dreams has had its share of difficulties too. Starting with the four walls of my very home. 
I came from a very conventional background where my family had unbending convictions, which were originating from a rather orthodox society. When a woman's job back in those days was merely restricted to being a mom, a spouse, a homemaker. Little did anybody fathom that a woman can be entirety of this and still can surely pursue her wants and dreams too. I was instructed to be by my elders, keep my desires to the side and quietly walk the way forged by my ancestors or I had risky repercussions to confront. The heaviness of these words would seem sufficient to smash my aspirations about soaring in the blue skies. There was this consistently a tempest inside of me and a constant question, can I ever do it? Rained in my musings. Yet the same internal voice had sufficient solidarity to battle this pessimism and Orion Stafford triumphantly. The majority of us are too terrified to even think about thinking beyond practical boundaries. And the reason? Well, mainly being self-doubt. We need to uncover our true sense because we are more worthy than our veil of insecurities that we carry around. It is time that we display our sparkle and feed into our longing. It's been decades since I have gone from gazing at the clouds to flying among them. It was a long and onerous excursion, yet so very worth it. My St. Stephen's College years witnessed my venture from home near the very edge of daybreak and return late in the night. In the wake of shuffling my way through college lectures and aviation classes, I have faced challenges one after the other after the other but also was armed with the energy never to surrender God's grace. This is what made all the difference for me to oppose the continuous hurdles. I spent the waning hours of the night concentrating on my studies outside under the street lamps. I still do clearly recollect my mom's tears when she understood my steadiness, but nothing ever deterred me to chase my goal. My first flight, took off from Delhi to Dubai. And in 2013, God's been extremely kind. I became the youngest woman in the world to command a Boeing 777-300 ER jet, the world's largest commercial twin jetliner. My parents were again in tears, this time with the tears of joy. As the next phase slid in, I understood that the hardest lesson boiled down to controlling my nerves during turbulence the turbulence which is inside and on the outside. As a pilot, I'm always prepared to flourish in multi-dimensional environment with persistently changing contributions from various sources and the tools that should be handled quickly and precisely inside the tight edges in any condition. At different occasions, my ongoing computations can have a direct repercussion on the organization's solvency. In January of 2018, I landed amidst a huge snowstorm at the JFK airport, so intense that it rendered the airport closed for days. And as we navigated towards the airport on the first day of reopening, we were told that there were no parking bays available by the air traffic controller at JFK airport. As the minutes wore on at the New York airport, we moved towards the four hour mark, which was the regulatory US cutoff to keep the passengers inside the airplane confined. Now I grew up surviving on little and thus I learned the significance of resources at an extremely young age. In the present circumstance, I decided to deplane on the runway, choosing not to burden my airline with financial losses, which could have mounted in multi-million dollar lawsuits. What's more that at any other occasion, my choices also depend on a feeling of obligation, duty, responsibility to my society, to my kindred citizens. In 2020, as the seriousness of COVID-19 was starting to solidify, 
The worldwide travel was confined. Innumerable Indians were stranded in the US and other various parts of the world. Thus, the Indian government in Air India started a repatriation flight mission to bring them home. However, this was in jeopardy on the grounds that very few people wanted to operate these flights. And rightly so, with the justifi justifiable reason of uh, being able to contract the virus. And at that time, very, very few people even knew about it. My childhood was in an affectionate and close-knit family. And so the worth of being together with family is profoundly imbued in me. I was moved by the anxiety of families all around me whose friends, children, family members were abandoned outside in the foreign nations, not knowing what's going to happen next. Concealing my nerves, I was one of the pilots to chip in for the mission. The first flights were scheduled for the day of Mother's Day, making it especially hard for me to be away from my own mom. Sometimes the answers that we seek come from within. Once, twice, a gazillion times. Reflect deep into your soul, for there you will find the truest answers. Constant introspection will help you understand who you really are as a person. What are your life goals? And the belief that you trust your own vision. I drew fortitude thinking about the mothers and the children who might be separated inconclusively if I would not to step up to operate. And as I landed my US India repatriation flight from San Francisco to Mumbai, the passengers celebrated with relief and delight, which enlivened me to the scale my endeavors. And I continue to operate many more missions like these on a routine basis in today's COVID-19 world. I would never forget that mixture of applause and tears when those passengers finally landed in India. These are the moments which change you for the rest of your lives and you never look back. I'm from a background where in case you're excessively aspiring or have dreams which don't confine to the generalization of the stereotypical society, you can feel like an outsider. I needed to battle hard to accomplish my dreams, not just with a culture that didn't consider women to be pioneers and commanders, but also women who showcased tremendous confidence. At the point when I joined Air India, I was amongst the first few women pilots. There were a scarce number of uh, girl pilots at that time, and I was a very young girl when I joined. My airline has been an incredible equal opportunity employer who provided me with equivalent opportunities. And I would say that I have taken in, learned a ton, and have ascended to the position of being a Boeing 777 captain, which is nothing short of a blessing. And I'm truly grateful to my organization for it. And now, finally, I have also been able to fly and command a trip over the North Pole in 2021 with an all women crew and they have stood behind me today I'm just a face talking to you and telling you about my experience but actually it's all the work of my team who has been standing behind me the government the ministry my entire airline so my dear audience always keep in mind that it's very simple to be deliberated when the world doesn't appear to invite you. It is in these times that it is imperative for me to show the youngsters out there that they can seek after their dreams as well. I often talk at schools and various different platforms to urge students to think past their environment factors. Today, as a female pilot, I am glad about the accomplishments that I have achieved and any other girl who is in my field has achieved. And I'm so proud of them. It is all because I kept that passion, that eight year old inside of me alive. And presently, I have my equivalent stargazing eyes fixed on another forward leap and an added mission. I desire to grow, 
show each and every young lady out there who sees me in the uniform that if I can make it till here, so can she. Any youth that doubts themselves, any human being that has that shadow, that if I can do it against all odds, so can they. I wish to empower every single girl and youth and person out there to dream without fear, to spread their wings and take that leap and own the sky. So dream constantly and forever have faith in yourself. Each incredible reality starts with an extraordinary dream. And each incredible dream starts with an incredible visionary. And that, my friends, is you. Sky is the limit for you to evolve the urge. So challenge yourself to surpass your limits, to be something or someone you thought you can never be. Parade the best form of yourself and believe in it. Continue to dream, stay focused, stay driven, and you will definitely get there. Believe in yourself and fly high. Namaskar. Jai.